Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this portfolio website from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, we designed this services section over here. Now in this video, I'll show you how to design the next section, which is the brand section and also this portfolio section. So let's get started. <laughs> Right, here's the source code. So let's go to the HTML file and let's start writing the HTML for this uh, brand section over here. So let's go outside this section and uh, this is the section for services. So let's create a comment and uh, let's tap end of services section. And let's create a new section with an ID of brands. And we want all the content to be inside a specific max width. So let's add a wrapper division over here. And in that, let's add an H2. And uh, now here in this H2, let's type top brands I have worked with. And if you go to our website, here we can see we have the heading being displayed. Now we need to add these three logos over here for Google, Microsoft, and Pinterest. So let's go back. And uh, let's create a division and let's give it a class of brand logos. And let's create IMG tags. And in the source, let's type images forward slash Google logo.svg and uh, let's add the other logos as well. So we have Microsoft logo.svg and Pinterest logo.svg. And that's basically it with the HTML of the brand section. So let's create a comment and let's type end of brands section. And uh, here we can see we have all the content being displayed. Now let's add some CSS to make it look better. So let's go to a styler CSS file and uh, let's create a new comment over here and uh, let's tap brands section. And first of all, let's target the section. So let's tap brands over here. So we have this ID of brands for the section and we need to add a background color to that. So it separates from the other sections. So let's add a background color of RGBA 217, 217, 217 and 0 0.08 for the opacity. And uh, this is how it looks. Now for this brand section, we don't want to have the usual padding that we have for all these sections. So here we can see for all these sections, we have this padding. And if you go to the CSS here, if you take a look at the section, we can see that we have added a padding block of 6.25 rem for all the sections. Now for this particular section of brands, we will add a different padding. So let's have padding of 40 pixels and zero. So now if you go to our website, for the brand section, we have a lot less padding. Right now, let's style the brand logos. So here we have this division of the class of brand logos. So let's type brand logos. And let's set the display to flex and justify content to space between. So now we can see all these uh, logos are spread out. Now let's adjust the height of these images. So inside the brand logos, we have the images. So let's type brand logos IMG. And let's set the height to 50 pixels. And this is how it looks. So with that, we have styled our brand section. All right now, let's create the project section. So let's go to the HTML file and uh, let's create a new section and uh, let's give it an ID of projects. And uh, let's add a wrapper division. And first of all, let's add a heading. And uh, for the heading, we need to have this uh, text of portfolio. And uh, now you can see we have this heading. Now in this section we need to have all these images of the projects that we have created and we also need to have these description for all these projects. So whenever we hover over these projects we need to display these uh, descriptions. So I'll just create a division with a class of projects container. Now we need to have different divisions for each of these projects because we also need to add the descriptions. So let's create a division of the class of project and in the project we need to have an image for the source, let's type images forward slash project one dot jpg. And then we need to add a project description. So let's create a division with a class of project description. And uh, here let's add the description. So for the first one, let's type brand identity design for a top brand. And uh, here we can see that we have a different color for the top brand. So if you go to our uh, website, this is how it looks right now. We have the same color for all this text. So let's go ahead and add this inside a span. Now, if you remember, we can see that in our hero section, we have a different color for this minimal text. So if you go to the hero section HTML, 
here we can see that we have added a span with a class of blue text. So we can do the same thing over here. So let's create a span with a class of blue text. And let's add the ending tag right here after the top brand. Now if we go back, here we can see that we have this blue color for this text. Now we need to do the same for all the other projects. So I'll just copy this project division from here. And let's paste it down here. And for the second one, let's change the image to project2.jpg. And for the project description, let's go ahead and type elegant UI concepts. So let's add elegant inside span. So let's type elegant. And uh, let's add UI concepts over here. So this is the second text. Now if you take a look at this uh, design, we can see that for the first line of uh, projects, we have the first one being displayed with a larger width. And for the second line, we have the second one displayed with a larger width. So we will add both of these inside separate divisions. So let's create a division with the class of line one inside the projects container. And let's add these two projects inside this line one. And I'll just copy this line one from here and paste it down here. And here let's change this to line two. And for the project, image let's change this to project 3.jpg now for this description let's type minimal logo design so let's add logo inside the span and let's type design over here and then for the fourth project let's change this to project 4.jpg and for the description let's go ahead and type modern website redesign for an e-commerce brand so if you go back to our website here we can see that all the project images and descriptions are displayed over here. Now in the end, we also need to add a button to display all the projects. So here we can see we have this button called view all projects. So let's go back and let's go inside the wrapper division. So just after this uh, projects container division, let's create an anchor tag and uh, let's give it a class of BTN. And here let's type view all projects. And let's also add the arrow. So if you scroll up, here we can see we have this pan with a class of icon. So let's copy this pan. This is the icon that we have inside the button. So let's paste it over here for this button. And uh, this is how it looks. All right now let's go ahead and add some CSS to make it look like this. So let's go to our CSS file and let's create a new comment and I'll just type project section. And first of all, let's go ahead and add a margin top for this project's container so that we have some gap between the heading and this project's container. So let's type projects container margin top of uh, let's try 60 pixels. Now let's go ahead and style the line one and line two and uh, we need to display the projects one next to the other. So let's go ahead and type projects line one and projects line two. And let's set the display to flex and a gap of 24 pixels. And let's add a margin bottom of 24 pixels. So this is how it looks. Now for all the projects, we will have a fixed height. So let's type projects. And in that we have this division of the class of project. And for the project, let's set a height of 22 rems. All right, now let's go ahead and target the image inside the project division. And uh, let's set the height and the width of all the images to 100%. So let's type projects. IMG and let's set the width to 100% and height to 100% and let's type object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions. Now in the line one we need to have the width of the first project to be a little bit more so we can use a property called flex so let's go ahead and type projects line one project and let's target the first child so this basically selects the first element inside line one which is this project right here. And let's go ahead and set the flex to three. And uh, for the last item inside the line one, so let's tap hash projects, line one, project colon last child. And here we'll just set the flex to two. So this will have a width of two units and this will have a width of three units. So now if we go back, here we can see we have the correct width for these projects. Now we need to do the opposite for these two projects. So for that, let's go back. And here we'll just add one more thing. So we'll just tap hash projects line to project last child. And in the same way, let's go ahead and type projects line to project 
first child. So now we can say that everything looks all right. Now the next thing we will do is we'll position these images relative to the project and we'll set the position to absolute for these images. And then we can go ahead and set a display of grid and place items to the center so that this text is in the center. So further let's go over here to the images and we can just remove the height and width and we can simply type position absolute and inset of zero which sets the top left right and bottom positions to zero and for the project let's set the position to relative and uh, for the project let's also set the display to grid and place items to the center so that the text is displayed in the center and right now we cannot see the text right here so if you right click over here and go to inspect and if you take a look at the project description here we can see that it is exactly in the center so what we will do is when we hover over this so we'll just set the opacity of the image to a lower value so let's do that and we'll also add a smooth transition over here so let's tap transition of all 500 milliseconds is and let's add a hover effect to the project so let's type hash projects project colon hover and uh, then let's target the image so when you hover over this project we need to add these styles to the image so just simply increase uh, the scale so let's tap transform scale of 1.1 and we'll also set the opacity to 0 0.2 so now if we go back here we can see that the hover effect is working now the image is being displayed on top of the other projects so for that let's go ahead and add an overflow of hidden to the project so here let's tap overflow hidden and now we can see this is how it looks All right now let's go ahead and style these uh, project descriptions so let's tap projects project description because that's the class that we have for these project descriptions and uh, let's go ahead and add some styles over here first of all let's set the font size to 2rem and let's set the font family to philosopher and serif and uh, we'll also add a max width let's set it to 400 pixels so this is how the project section looks right now now here we can see that the icon is not being displayed correctly so that's because uh, here we are targeting all the images inside the projects section so let's specifically target images inside the projects container so let's type projects container and now it looks all right so with that we have completed styling the brands and the portfolio section so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day